Hello and welcome to News Across Nigeria. Coming up on the program. Nigeria's former Vice President, First Vice President Dr. Alex Ekweme dies at the age of 85 in London. And IPOP Chieftain Namdi Kanu's trial has been adjourned. Katsina Youth joined the fight against illicit drugs. Allow me, ladies and gentlemen, to observe the presence of an elder statesman, an icon, a renowned figure in the polity that is Nigeria. Ladies and gentlemen, former Vice President, Federal Republic of Nigeria, put your hands together for Dr. Alex Ekweme. All right. That was the last public outing of Nigeria's first Vice President, Dr. Alex Ekweme, who died in a London hospital last night at the age of 85. The occasion was the graduation ceremony of the students of the Rocha Sokorocha Foundation Schools, where he was honored with the highest honorary award in Imo State. That's the Grand Commander of the State of Imo. Dr. Ekweme was also a recipient of the second highest national honor in Nigeria, the Grand Commander of the Order of the Niger. Reports say he had slumped at his residence in Enugu before he was flown to a London hospital for treatment last week, where he died. As Nigeria's vice president between 1979 and 1983, Dr. Ekweme's famous proposals at the National Constitutional Conference gave birth to the six geopolitical zones in Nigeria for equitable power sharing. Dr. Ekweme mobilized a group of 34 eminent Nigerians who risked their lives to stand up against the dictatorship of General Sani Abacha. He was the founding chairman of the People's Democratic Party and the first chairman of the party's board of trustees. And the president is mourning the death of former Vice President Alex Ikweme, and he says the late elder statesman's regular counsels on national issues and mediation for peaceful coexistence would be missed. A statement from the president's spokesperson, Femi Adeshino, quotes the president saying that Dr. Ikweme's unwavering commitment to the unity of Nigeria had been a major encouragement to many governments, recalling the personal sacrifices he made in helping to lay the foundation for sustainable democracy in Nigeria. End of quote. President Buhari believes the late vice president worked very hard to improve the livelihood of many poor people and the underprivileged through the Alex Ekweme Foundation. Meanwhile, condolence messages have been pouring in in honor of the late elder statesman, Dr. Alex Ekweme. A former vice president of Nigeria, Atiku Abubakar's condolence message on his Twitter page reflects on his official relationship with Dr. Ekweme, and he says, quote, Dr. Alex and I were part of the 1995 Constitutional Conference, which recommended that Nigeria be restructured along six geopolitical zones. We will miss his focused guidance. Senate President Bukola Saraki also shares his experience with the late former Vice President, saying, quote, I remember Dr. Alex Ikweme for his exemplary courage in the face of overwhelming odds when he stood up to past military regimes and his dexterity in his personal pursuits. End of quote. Some state governors have also reacted to former Vice President, the former Vice President's passing. From the south-south, the River State Governor Nyeso Mwike is quoted as saying that the late former Vice President was an outstanding Democrat, compassionate leader, true patriot, and exemplary statesman. The Southeast Governors Forum describes the death of Dr. Ekweme as a great loss to the entire nation. In a separate statement, the re-elected Governor of Anambra State, Mr. Willio Biano, says he's yet to come to terms with the reality of Dr. Ekweme's death. He says Ndigbo have lost an illustrious son. Anambra has lost a father. 
personally, I have lost a father and a friend and a mentor. This is a big loss on all fronts. End of quote. Meanwhile, social, political and cultural organization, the Ohanese Indigbo, describes the late former vice president as an outstanding patriot who has contributed immensely to the country's social, political evolution. President General of the group in Nigeria, John Wodo, says Nigeria has lost a strong advocate for a restructured federation. According to Mr. Wodo, as vice president, Dr. Ekweme was intellectually forthright, engaging, loyal, and outstandingly patriotic, while as a politician, he was courageous and had original and was original in his ideas. Dr. Alex Ikweme is outstandingly brilliant. He is intellectually engaging. He is forthright and courageous about his convictions. And he's very patriotic and very loyal. When he agrees with you, he's with you all the way through. Nigeria has lost an important person. If you look at the political landscape of Nigeria, Ekweme can never be forgotten. When the military did not want a return to political activity, Ekweme was one of the few people who got up and formed a political movement that engaged a number of active politicians and pressured the military for a return to civil rule. Now let's get to politics in Anambra State. Following Saturday's victory at the governorship polls, Governor Willie Obiano is already reeling out his plans for the next four years as he prepares for the takeoff of his second term in office. The governor is promising to build on the success recorded during his first term, but with new methods that will ensure an all-inclusive system which will bring about more development. Governor Biano recorded a landslide victory at the polls, winning in all the 21 local government areas of the state. Before I came in, security was an issue. I came, I saw, I conquered, you know, and uh, it's not a static thing. Security is continuous, so we are moving and we are going to put in uh, more effort to ensure that the next four years is even far better than they've seen it now. Uh, I'll keep awake so that all Anambra people or, and people that are living in Anambra, you know, uh, sleep with their two eyes closed. The airport is going to go properly uh, because uh, Anambra is not bringing a cover in the investments. It's a build, operate, manage and transfer approach that we did with the, with the Chinese uh, company uh, funded by Exim Bank, you know, and um, they are on ground. They are trying to push some, uh, 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 you know, some um, guarantee to support uh, some of the funding that they are, initial funding they will get. Things I'm doing in agriculture is fantastic and we're going to, in the next four years, progress it. One of the things that won me accolade amongst all the local governments uh, basically was choose your project, community project, 40 million per community. The all communities are choosing their second project now. It has never happened in the history of Nigeria anywhere at all. You know, every community, you know, even the remotest place in Anambra, which is Olumbanasa, very close to Kogi, you know, benefited from that choose your project community. Apart from the schools we built for them, they now got the money. And we are trying to do a bridge for them, roads and what have you. This second administration will touch the lives of uh, the less privileged. They touch the lives of the common man in the streets who voted for me. It will also touch the lives of the big people right. whose industries will employ uh, the young ones that we are bringing.